Have you ever stood backstage shaking at the knees because you knew you had to go out and speak to a group of people, no matter how large or small, and inspire them, motivate them, inform them. And what's more, you find out you're going to be videotaped. We get scared. Why is that? I truly believe that what Jerry Seinfeld once said, that the people attending a funeral would rather actually be the ones in the box than the ones delivering the eulogy. That's amazing. Well, I have been there many times, and now I'm actually the one who is supporting others in moving past this somewhat debilitating fear and creating a whole new world for themselves, creating a little bit more success. Because let's face it, in this day and age, in this economy, we have to have an edge. My name is Donna Lipman, and I want to welcome you here. Thank you for taking the time to view this short video. And my goal, my intention is to support you in knowing a little bit more about presentation skills so that you can go out and begin to define your own edge and move to the next level of success. Now, there are four aspects to a successful presentation. The first one is intention. The second is awareness. The third is planning, and the fourth is practice. So let's just review those real quickly. Simply put, intention is just what do you want to have happen with your audience and for your audience as a result of your presentation. And then awareness. Of course, you want to know who your audience is so you can create an appropriate conversation. And yes, that's what we're having here is a conversation with an audience, no matter how large or small the group. And then you want to see what's going on up here, your awareness of what are the conversations you're having in your head about yourself, about your audience. Are you thinking things like, oh, that's a big audience. I don't know if I can inspire and motivate them. Or what if they don't like me? Or what if my jokes fall flat? I don't know enough to be giving this. There's a lot of conversation that takes place up there and you want to keep that in check because you want to make sure that there's nothing standing between you and the success of this presentation. And then of course there's planning. You have to write your script. You have to know how big your audience is. And you want to know, are you actually talking to them in a lecture style or do you want to interact with them? So you want to plan exactly what your story is. Do you know how to tell your story with simplicity and with some passion? And then finally, practice. And this is my favorite part. And I know there are people out there on the internet that I've seen that do not believe in practice. And I, on the other hand, think it is probably the most important component to presenting a successful speech or doing a video. Now, I wanna share with you the formula for creating a video or a presentation. And you've already actually seen it in the first part of this video. So here's what happened. I opened this video with a question. Now there are lots of ways to open a presentation. You can open with a question, you can open with a joke, or you can open with a story, or even a quote. But I chose to use a question in this case. Have you ever been backstage shaking because you were scared to death about going out to speak in front of a group of people? Now you want your questions to be broad enough to attract the most people in your audience, but you don't want it to be too broad. Of course, you want it to be appropriate for your particular audience. One time I did a workshop with a woman here in Austin and we were all sitting around waiting for our leader to come in and she comes in very quietly. She sits down, looks around and then asks us, so when are you going to die? 
Now, do you think that got our attention? It certainly did. Of course, that question was appropriate to the particular workshop we were doing, but it grabbed us. That's your intention. Next, you want to earn the right. So you want to look at who you are and why you are the perfect person to be delivering this information. And you also want to acknowledge the audience, thank them for being there and for taking the time out of their busy days to, to listen to you. So the next step is to provide some content. What is it that you want to share with your audience? What's the information that you want to impart? Finally, you want to acknowledge them again. I acknowledge you for the courage that it takes to even begin this process. And then you want a call to action. My call to action to you is that you should go out, do the work, make a commitment, and be your most expressed self. So whether you are preparing for a video presentation, um, a video business card to use as promotion on your website, or you are the keynote speaker for South by Southwest this year in Austin, Texas, the formula and the format for success is the same. So again, thank you for being here and I look forward to hearing from you.